Hey what's going on guys, Krooks here and welcome back to another video. So today we're taking a look at some Overwatch 2 settings. We're going to be going over the best graphical settings. We're going to be also looking at some little hidden features and settings that are actually in the game that maybe you don't know about um, and you should definitely switch on. Let's not waste any time and go straight into it. You want to press escape, go on options. You want to go on your control section and general first thing. Where it says a controller here, we're going to want to change some settings here. Now, I'm going to explain this. There seems to be a little issue, a little bug in the game, where even if you're playing on PC and you're using mouse and keyboard, the controller settings here will actually affect uh, your aim in-game, um, your input as well, and your aim doesn't feel as great. Uh, it feels a little bit uh, off, let's just put it. Uh, so to, to prevent this what we're going to want to do is the, the sensitivities here We're both going to change them to 0% You want to click on this little advanced uh, tab here and aim smoothing I believe is usually on around 50% uh, But we want to change that to 0 if your aim easing is also different uh, Change it to 0 as well the rest of these settings here. I wouldn't really touch I don't uh, I didn't touch at least but it was these four main settings here that you want to change this should hopefully get rid of that bug and your aim should be a little bit uh, better or it should feel a little bit better at least. After the controls we want to click on the gameplay tab and on the general section you'll notice at the very bottom on the miscellaneous there is an option called enable high precision mouse input. Now this isn't on by default and I find that surprising um, and you have to turn it on yourself so I do highly recommend that uh, because on default, like I said, it isn't on, it's off. Um, which, you know, like I said, I don't know why, but uh, I recommend turning this on just so your mouse input feels uh, just better. Um, obviously, better precision and so on. After your gameplay, you want to go on accessibility and on general and motion, there's a few things you want to change. First thing is your camera shake, it's usually on default, put that on reduced. Uh, just, just just so that obviously your camera in game doesn't shake as much when you jump or d d different actions different abilities um, and so on this might help with motion sickness but it will also get uh, you know that get whole you know awful god awful like overused shake out um, it's still there but it's a lot reduced more smaller less drastic this is to help so you can also concentrate in game um, and hit your shots a bit better you want to go on a hud shake and turn that off as well that once again is small things like your hud when you jump or move and so on uh, or even your mouse input when you look left and right for your hud to move about uh, some people enjoy it uh, personally i keep it off just so i get less distracted and obviously uh, you know when i'm trying to look at certain things they're not just moving about a little bit i know they're always going to be stationary on the bottom left or on the bottom right wherever it may be after you've done that, that's basically the settings that you kind of need to change uh, that aren't related to your graphical setting. They're the little hidden ones. Um, but now the main video settings is... Now, okay, I'll say it this way. It's personal preference. Whatever you have in a computer is what you should try and test about with this yourself personally. Everyone's computer is different. This game, Overwatch 2, it's very well optimized. It's probably one of the best optimized games out there. Um, so even, you know, you don't have the greatest uh, high-end gaming setup, you can still get good frames and, uh, you know, good performance out of your game. Over here, the one thing you want to turn off is dynamic render scale. Make sure that's off. That messes with uh, just how the game is rendered and it could be choppy. Um, you know up and down it might fluctuate quite a bit your frame rate i do recommend setting a cap if you are in a 144 hertz monitor i recommend putting about 150 if you are on 60 you depending on how good your system is you could go up like 65 to 70 just so your graphics card has a bit of headroom um and what it's doing so that you're aiming to get a constant 70 instead of aiming to get a constant 60 because just the way games work sometimes they little uh, a little hitch will happen where your game um, will drop a few frames here and there so if you're dropping from 70 to let's say 68 if you have a 60 hertz monitor you will still be seeing 60 frames no matter what unless it drops below 60 
if you have a 240 hertz monitor obviously go around 250 and if you happen to be one of the lucky fellow people that has a 360 hertz monitor i believe then uh, i don't know if you can even oh you can go to 600 or there you go put, put it around 360 365 370 but you know if you're doing that you must have some sort of godly pc vsync is off triple buffering is off reduce buffering i have on i haven't really myself noticed if it helps or not but um it should <laughs> is is what it's uh, supposed to be doing but i'll keep it on just why not um in case it does next we have nvidia reflex if you guys have an nvidia card you know i highly recommend you enable this um or enable it with the boost this improves the latency between your graphics card and your game and input it, it feels slightly better um some people it might not it depends on uh, once again your setup your graphics quality i will go back again and say this is all personal preference if your pc can't run it lower it down if your pc can run it increase it, it it's as simple as that but the settings that i went with that gave me uh not only good uh i feel like graphical you know it looks nice but also feels nice you know i'm getting nice performance i'm getting 150 frames consistently so for me i have these settings where texture quality is on medium your texture filtering quality is on ultra local fog detail on medium dynamic reflections low shadow detail high model detail low effects detail high lighting detail or lighting quality high anti-alias quality i put this on low but if you have a nice pc you can actually uh go higher but anti-aliasing does cost quite a bit in terms of performance refraction quality high screenshot quality i one I, I think this is simply just screenshots ambient inclusion i put that off um local reflections on and your damage effects i put on default the rest details these stats are what show and so on that's down to you whatever you want to see whatever you don't want to see but for me i only have my frame rate and i believe it's my network latency uh to show my ping but other than that that is the overwatch 2 complete settings guide um that's all you need to know currently for overwatch 2 if obviously further down the line there seems to be any uh, new features uh, new settings uh, or just you know bug improvements optimizations whatever they will obviously be covered but for now i think th th the stable uh point has been you know reached um and the game runs very smoothly like i said you can uh, have a, a, a absolute toaster and i'm more than sure you could run this game on maybe even the lowest settings or higher than that but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped you guys a lot. If you'd like to see more guides, tips, and tricks, let me know down in the comments. But anyways, guys, my name is Crooks, and peace out, everybody.